How's everyone out there doing? Perhaps you've seen my uh, latest Retro Goodness episode. Uh, I'm Ivan. What you may not know is I'm actually recording this episode of Unnecessary Surgery before that episode of Retro Goodness. I have the original in the box, 1976, I think. Simon, computer controlled. That's how they uh, advertise it. A computer controlled game, Simon. And the other video will have, you know, like a little uh, proper little unboxing of it. Still got receipts and everything. But, uh, anyway, you probably, you might have already seen that one anyway, so, but. Here's the uh, unit at hand, Simon. And actually, it works, you know, relatively okay at the moment. But there are little tiny issues with it. I don't know. I'll turn it on and see if you guys can notice a couple of things with it. Like that's an issue. Like you gotta really pound on it. <laughs> really. Really. So you really like. <laughs> it really doesn't have the greatest action ever. <laughs> uh, but you know the thing about that is. Well, I'm not really sure. Maybe it, maybe it was always like that. I don't really I don't really remember. The last time I really played this was as a kid. I uh, <laughs> I just borrowed this one for a little while from the original source where I played it from originally, my grandmother's. So I just wanted to you know screw around with it a little bit. I was reading the back of this and the manual, and it says you know and it says right on it you know spare bulb inside. The spare bulb is inside. Use type 14A. Uh, all the bulbs, you know, work on it, but it just, you know, it just made me think, okay, they're not in the battery chambers. That means they're actually inside the unit, maybe. Um, I, I, I kind of wanted to take it apart. I don't know if we're going to be able to fix anything, uh, but you know, this is a retro, you know, thing from the 70s. And I, I like to take things apart, even if nothing's wrong with them. And there is a little like this. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this the label's coming off a little bit. Maybe we can glue it on, you know. We can do something. Maybe we can polish it up a little bit. The black all around it is kind of dull over the years. I mean, it's still it's not like it's not like the beige white, you know, kind of plastic ABS plastic. You know, it still retains the blackness, but it's I don't I don't I don't think it's as shiny as it was originally. Maybe we can fix that. And I don't let's just have some fun. I don't think the thing works, so it's not like we're actually gonna be doing anything complicated, you know. But let's just take it apart, see what the hell's inside. Alright guys, here we have the um, beautiful nineteen seventy six, I believe. Simon from a Milton Bradley. Um I bet you these come off. Well, you know. Let's see, Let's see the on-off switch. Up. Oh, there you go. There you go. So I can still assume that some things, right? Let's put those over here. And let's look for some screws. Okay, first off, we have the back. Now this, I already said it in my other review, but yeah, this fucking thing comes with two batteries. And at first, I thought it was either or. It's like maybe you know. God, that would be a lot of batteries. Like, just, you know, either put, you know, two Ds in there or put a 9 volt in there. No, 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 no. No, it needs both. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But, I don't know if it needs... I'm going to see if I can keep it in there. And let's look for some screws. Here they are. I think they're on the corners there, so... Well, let's get at it. Got it apart. Let's uh, see what you get. Okay, there you go. Here's the top. Does this come off? We'll look at that later. Anyway, here's the cover. Wow. Nice, nice little uh, 
grooves in these. Very nice looking. I guess we take we could take the buttons off. That's actually kind of nice that they did that in case, I guess, I don't know if they had repairs. You could just replace one of the buttons. Maybe if you accidentally broke it somehow. Um, but you can take the buttons off with these screws. I, I, abs I absolutely adore that. And this, oh, this is how it connects to the, uh, I bet this is how it connects to the uh, actual board itself. And I can see like this one's a little worn. I don't know what we can do about that, guys. <laughs> old rubber worn that might be the actual problem we'll get to that in a second anyway let's uh look at the oh we got some buttons here must be mm -hmm. and we got the old-fashioned old-fashioned light bulbs there guys that's nice <laughs> and there's the extra there's the extra still in there, still in the, still hiding in there. It's kind of cool. And deep in there is the, uh, there's the speaker. It looks like just an ordinary PC speaker. Now, I don't think there's much of a reason for us to take this apart, but I'm, I'm going to do it anyway, just for the hell of it. But <laughs> let's look at the lights, guys. If we turn this on, ha <laughs> ha, that's cool. Wow, it's it's fucking bright. I have spares of these. I think for just probably for Christmas, old Christmas lights. <laughs> these are actually these are very good bulbs. Yeah, they're very bright still. I don't. Oh, I fucked up. I just want to. I want to see what this one works. I just want to. Alright, that one works. <laughs> These lights are pretty fucking bright still, guys. That's pretty cool. And looking at them closely, yeah, they they are in no danger whatsoever of dying. I, um, that's why I have. I have absolutely. I hate when these new electronics come with shitty, bad-looking LED lights. When these old-fashioned lights, they're cheaper. They look better, 100%. They absolutely look better. Uh, and the last fucking a very long time. And if not, you fucking build the goddamn thing so you can replace them. These these are very easy to find. These can be replaced. And I'm going to take them apart anyway and just to shine them up a little, I guess. Put some Windex on them. But, yeah, these... There's no need... To fuck around with these fucking LED lights, and this is another excuse to charge your money for shit they don't need to. Uh, these incandescents, these this, these little ones can last fucking forever. I think that is the original fucking bulb in there. That this thing has never been opened. That's the original bulb. <laughs> original extra. take the board out I you know you don't really need to do this but I just want to look at it all right here's the piece of plastic is it gonna okay I don't know not that this is needed at all but I don't want to ruin it too badly <laughs> so here's our simple here's our little computer guys <laughs> is that the I guess that's the uh, CPU I guess that's the brains of the project is that the little ROM or RAM or something <laughs> ah, this is so so simple oh god i love these old 70s motherboards oh my god like these are no problem you want to you want to mess with this you want to solder some shit no problem whatsoever made in taiwan look at this like it says plus and negative i wonder if that's another way to hook up power to it because there's that 
there's nothing actually there. It must run. This is where the power actually comes through. Strange. It must be something this touches. No, I don't know. What the? What exactly do the D batteries do, guys? I see the power coming directly from the 9 volt. How in the hell does... What happens to this? Oh, that's that's what the positive and negatives are for. They touch, they touch the C. So yes, it definitely is getting power from two sources. Eight ohms, zero point two watts. Bogo. It just it looks like a PC speaker to me. <laughs> and it actually gives a nice noise. You know, it, the bass isn't isn't too bad for the inside of it. Oh, we do see. Do you guys see the corroded contacts there? There's a little bit of issue there with the batteries. That ain't too good. Uh, copper has oxidized. Probably because of old batteries. Why don't we see what we can do about this contact. Make sure this thing lasts a, li a little bit longer. Directly out and we see with our own eyes just how badly this one is. And this one is not too bad. First, let's take him to the bathroom and see what we can do with this shit. I don't really feel like moving the camera over to the damn bathroom, so... Here is the idea. Here's what I'm doing right now. I am soaking up an old toothbrush, and I'm going to town on this old piece of copper connection. Seeing if we can't clean off some of this green bullshit. And, uh, let's see what the results are. Here's the results... Um, I, I almost, this one's pretty much completely free of corrosion. There's a tiny bit around the edges. This one is a lot better than what it was. I got this side almost completely, it is completely free of corrosion. It's just the copper wore off, or, you know, it's still metal there, but, yeah, the, uh, bad green yuckiness is mostly gone except for this side which whatever, I brushed it's still got a lot of clean spots on it though so it will be an overall much much better connection let's throw some polish on it see if we can get anything a little better yummy yummy polish polish that shit up yeah That polish took so much of the crap off. It looks so damn nice now. Not perfect, but a thousand times better than it was. It should have lasted a little bit longer, so I like that. Taking the liberty of uh, taking out the board entirely now. And hopefully we can get this speaker out too. I think that should be simple. And there we go. We've... Here's our little speaker. We've now done a complete dissection of the classic Milton Bradley's Simon. God, look at that old scotch tape. Ah, it's all yellow. <laughs> 2.5 volts, 3.3 amps. Just gonna take this and uh, just gonna Give it a nice clean and put some plastic polish on it. I'll be right back with you. Got it all nice and soaped up and clean, dried off. It looks nice. See if we can't make it look a little nicer. Serial number 596, 5,691,688. Not exactly the first, but I'm sure this thing has uh, sold about a billion by now. I'm going to throw a little plastic polish on it. Just liberally. I don't care. Rub that in. This is what I do with my Sega Genesis. Make it look brand shiny fucking new every time. Does a lot for rubber too. The plastic. Plastic Restore does a lot for this rubber stuff. Just because it looks good does not mean it's going to like tarnish it or something or make it last not as long or make it crack or anything like that. Not at all. This plastic restorer, is, it works wonders. I, uh, I put it on my windshield wipers. I, I, I shit you guys not. Windshield wipers used to last me, uh, you know, a few months or something. 
or something, you know, would crack them or, you know, they'd just stop working. I have gone like two years on a win one pack of windshield wipers thanks to this. Thanks to using this every once in a while whenever I wax my car. I also use this plastic restore on the wiper blades. It works wonders. What do you guys think of that? Does it look, look, look nice and shiny now? I think it looks fantastic for the most part. It takes, usually takes, like when I first did it with my Sega Genesis, it took like a couple coats. You know, before it actually looked super awesome and new again, but we'll give it one coat for now. Maybe, maybe much, much later. I'll give it another. That spare bulb back where it was before. <laughs> with a new piece of tape so it doesn't uh, get fucked around with. I do have all these bulbs. I'm going to take all the bulbs out. And I'm going to just use some Windex on them. I'm a firm believer in, you know, keeping bulbs, light bulbs clean. I mean, something this small is not, I don't think it's going to increase the life of it at all. You know, it's not like a halogen that burns super, super hot. You know, and the hotter it gets and the more fingerprints you put on it, the hotter it's going to get inside. And, you know, it won't last as long. But, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how long it lasts. It will look much better than it did before. I could tell there was a little haze. And, yeah, you know, all you got to do is use some Windex on these light bulbs and they will be crystal clear as they were intended to be. Wipe it off with a towel. I've already tried to put one of them in by hand with the towel intact. It's not really that intuitive. But uh, it can kind of be done. It can kind of be worked with. If not, just use your hands and then, you know, wipe it dry once it's in. All right, light bulbs are in. See if we can put this speaker back to where it was. We want this is just like so. All right? Yes, yes, yes. The speaker is in there. Let's throw the nine volt plug back over here. I suppose we, I suppose we should put these back as well. Is there one particular terminal that is uh, more shitty than the rest? I don't remember which one the shitty one came from. I don't know. There we go. That looks nice. Beautiful. See if I can't put this sucker back on too. I, this is not needed whatsoever. I don't know. <laughs> is this the, their idea of an RF shield? I don't know what the fuck this thing was for. Don't exactly approve of it. <laughs> there, that gotta be like that. Gotta be like that, I would imagine. <laughs> this is stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> Come on, kid. Let me see the bulb. I need the bulb. There we go. There we go. Now I can go into the screw holes. Beautiful. <laughs> that is just. Well, I guess, I guess it helps reflect the light. Yeah, that's got to be what it's for. It just reflects the light back in, makes it a little stronger. Yeah, yeah I guess that's not a bad idea. I rescind my previous objections. Let's screw this back in. Get a foundation going again. Why not put the batteries back in, guys? Just to make sure these uh, light bulbs are looking nice and shiny. Brand new. Turn it on. <laughs> Ready, start. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Look how bright that is. I don't know if you guys can tell. It is so much nicer. looks so damn good. Oh, of course, you give me the same ones. <laughs> oh, shit. 
I think the wire's supposed to go over there. Yes, I bet you anything. We should try to sneak this wire over this little hole there. That should help out with that little button. Good. Well, the lights work. The lights look nice, nice and shiny. We are done with the bottom half at the moment. So let's get it out of the fucking way. Now we have buttons to deal with. These are just going to go through, get a little tiny little soaping. And then I will put them in the plastic shit. And this. I don't see any need to take this apart, really. There's no real point to it. I imagine if this thing is not as good as it once was with with the touching of the buttons, it's just because of the rubbers. I will using the plastic restore on them should help, I suppose, maybe. Otherwise, I, I imagine I probably could find replacement you know, little pieces for this. This game has been around for so fucking long. But that would have to be the problem. I see it. At one point, they might have had plans for another rubber in each one, which would have helped so much. Looks like they got cheap and just decided to go with just the one, because there's only the one on the board. Um, otherwise, yeah, I guess it probably had that, you know, way where you had to just slam on it in the right spot, which would have been where the rubbers are from day one. So, yeah, I don't think there's much we can do with helping it. I don't know, guys, but I think I can lie. <laughs> I can live with it. But, yeah, I'm just going to dunk this in the water, soap it up, clean it, give it some nice shine, and this, this sucker here, yes, can't really get to it. Yes, I'm going to just take it right off. Yes, take it right off, and I'm going to just re-glue it, because that's what they did. They just glued it, so. All right, guys, we have uh, shine this sucker up nice, I believe. Looks nice. Got the buttons. Oh, oh. This thing's going to look so... It already looks fucking fantastic, but let's put the plastic restore on it and see how it looks after that. Definitely want it all over the front here. <laughs> I go a little crazy with this shit sometimes. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. Wow. Looks nice. Already looks. Oh, my God. This looks beautiful. I definitely wanted to get both sides of this because the light will shine through from this side. So the nicer you get this side, the nicer the other side will be. Whew, look at that beauty. Oh, I just, oh, it looks just fantastic. Fantastic, everyone. I can't even wait. I, I want to put it on. I just want to look. I just want to see. Fully functional without any of this crap. <laughs> I just want to see what it looks like. Oh, oh, I can't press the button. I can't press the start button, guys. Rig. There we go. Green is not looking as green as it is in person. It's very green in person. Oopsie. <laughs> okay, yeah, go again. Go. No, don't let me press start again. I can't do it. No, I can't. Don't want to do it. <laughs> yellow looks nice. Definitely more yellow, though. You're seeing a little bit, but you're seeing it more bright than it actually is. Mm. 
<laughs> oh, it looks it looks beautiful though, guys. Oh, oh, I love it. I love it. In person, it looks so damn nice. And shine this up. I don't know why. Just why not? Nice and shiny. Let's put some glue on it. Some nice super glue. Let's put it right on the board itself. Why not? Yep. Hey, hey, hey. There you go. No, no. Come on. Back on. Beautiful. It's just. I'll hold it there for a little while. Make sure it stays. Got our Simon uh, label back on. Looks nice. I'm just going to use my hands. Use my hands for this one and then dry them off with a towel. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at that goo. Ooh, goo. I think we should just put them, line them up as best as we can and then try to uh, put the top on, I would say, would actually be our brightest strategy in this instance. Can we do it though? Oh, 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 come on. There we go. Awesome. Put some of this on the sides here. Not on the speaker. Yeah, get it good. This thing just looks it looks this stuff just makes it brand new again it, we are almost done got our on off button here let's put that there this the, the shorter button it would be the game button and the longer would be the skill level yes so all the buttons seem to work on start Oh yeah. And actually, wouldn't you know it, I think the rubber's helped. It actually is pressing nicer. Uh, yeah, it, this is nice. Yeah, it is nicer. This feels nicer. This works too. Now if I hit, hit longest, it should replay that. Okay, that was not the last one. Okay, that was the last one. <laughs> okay, so the buttons, all the buttons work, I suppose. What is four? There's like programming modes in this, like, I don't even remember all of them. No. Oh. Oh, yes. Anyways, look at that, baby. It's Simon. It's Simon. Looks so shiny. What else can we do? Can we do anything else? Box is kind of dull. Do you think we can help the box at all? I'm going to try. Let's put it on a corner of the box. I don't know how this thing's going to treat this but let's just try it why not ooh 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 I, I just love this shit <laughs> what are you gonna you can't you can't you can't convince me otherwise it looks great fuck it put it everywhere that was Simon <laughs> That was me fixing Simon, or something. That was very unnecessary. Very, very unnecessary. <laughs> I, uh, there was nothing wrong with it. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the damn thing. And, you know, and, you know, in every sense of the definition, this was completely unnecessary. <laughs> but, you know, I think that's my first truly unnecessary surgery video because there's nothing big, there's no big problem that I really fixed. Um, 
there's other ones. I haven't I haven't updated. I haven't uploaded a couple of them yet. I don't know why. I just I haven't got around to it. But um, yeah, this was just for the fuck of it, you know. Just because it's, this is from 1976, um, I hope. I think I was wrong. This is from 1978. Not as old as I thought it was. It's still old, but yes, 1978. You know, I don't. The Vic 20 hasn't even come out yet. The Atari 2600 was only a year old, I think. So, yeah, this is definitely early. This is early computer shit. It's nice. It's awesome. It's just, it's super, super cool. Um, it's not mine, but uh, <laughs> it's, it was great just playing it again. It's so nice. And uh, what did we do? I, we opened it up. We just looked at it. We just looked at it because... Looking at shit can be cool. That's how you learn. You open shit up, you poke around, and you put it back together. And if you're any good, you put it back together right, and you don't fuck anything up. And on the way, you know, we cleaned up the contacts, which hopefully will make it run a little longer into the future. Hopefully indefinitely, you never know. Um, we shined up the light bulbs... We cleaned up the contacts. We did make it. By cleaning up those little rubber pieces, we did make the action better. And yeah, we glued the uh, label back on. So, you know, it's, it's a, it was unnecessary, but at the same time, it was pretty damn sweet. I hope you'll agree. Check out my review on Simon, the retro goodness episode. I hope you all had fun on this little unnecessary mechanical journey with me. Let's uh, put it back in the box. Our nice new shiny box. <laughs> we shined it. We are so we are so crazy with the plastic glue. And yeah, let's just put it back in there with the original instructions and you know mailers and all that shit. Put it right back in there, Simon. Box closed. Unnecessary surgery. Great, great fun episode. Uh, see you guys later. Goodbye. Thanks a lot, guys. How's this look? Too much? Maybe too much. Ah! <laughs> Scared the shit out of me.